Up hits, and suddenly you realize you're drained. You cannot continue working anymore. Afternoon hits, you're done with work. You're just slugging along, and you're dragging. You might be at work, and those last couple of hours, you have no productivity, and you're just sitting there, and you can't leave work because your boss might think you're lazy, but in reality, you just can't focus. Have you ever wondered why that happens? Why is it that we can solve all of these problems, such as building ships and going to the moon, but we can't solve that little simple energy problem within our own bodies? Well, I'd like to talk to you about this problem and why it occurs and what we can do about it in order to solve it. Realize your bodies, our bodies, they run in cycles. Okay? There's a cycle of breathing. We breathe in, breathe out. The cycle occurs many times during the day. When we sleep, we run in cycles as, as well. We have four sleep cycles that continue throughout the night. We have reproductive cycles. We also have healing cycles within us that occur multiple times a day. Now, these cycles are called ultradian cycles. Fancy word for cycles that occur multiple times a day. There's one cycle that we forget about in our daily lives, and that is the rest-work cycle. You see, we have a rest-work cycle, and it happens throughout the day, multiple times. But a lot of times we don't realize that. Here's the situation. When you stay focused on an item, when you're single focused on something, you're writing something, or you're doing research, or you're being productive, or you're running your business, from 90 to 120 minutes, your body is focused, and it produces two hormones, cortisol and a little bit of adrenaline to keep your mind focused and running. Now these are stress hormones. From a period of 90 to 120 minutes, depending on the body, the body starts feeling a little bit tired and needs a break. It needs to break that cycle with a short rest. If you give it a rest of 20 minutes and take five of those minutes to eat some nuts and maybe eat an apple, and then take 15 minutes to close your eyes and tune out, zone out, just Detach yourself from the work for 15 minutes and let your mind rest. Your body clears itself of these stress hormones that it has produced. And then you can continue the cycle again for 90 to 20 minutes. And you continue the cycle two, three, and four times without feeling sluggish. What happens in the real world? In the real world, our paradigms have not changed. They have not shifted. We go into the office. We sit down. We start doing our work. Hour passes. Two hours passes. Two and a half hours, we're feeling sluggish at this point. We say, I'm feeling a little bit sleepy and tired. I better go into the kitchen and grab a candy bar and some, and some coffee to wake me up. Your body has produced these stress hormones. Instead of following your body and letting them go, you're putting in more fuel. And you're not letting these stress cycles go. Well, what happens by 1 o'clock? Your body says, it's enough. Even if you give me 20 minutes, I can't rest. I need longer time. And you don't let it rest. So by 1 o'clock, you're dragging. Think about an engine. You run the engine for a long time, and then after a while, you redline it. You run it at very high revolutions per minute. If you don't let it rest, what happens? It's going to blow. In our example, we're running an engine that's redlining, but we're adding nitrous oxide to it. Even worse, we're going to blow the engine and blow our focus. So it's interesting that some historic figures in the past actually knew about this. They might not have known the science behind it, but they intuitively knew about it when they applied this productivity concept to their own work. For example, you have somebody such as John Kennedy, our president, who would wake up in the morning, work out, work for only about three hours, and go to sleep for an hour and a half, and stop all of his phone calls. He would wake up and then continue his work in the afternoon and only be ready for dinner by 8 or 9 o'clock. You had people such as Thomas, uh, Thomas Edison, who was an inventor, really a shrewd businessman, but he himself didn't sleep much at night. Instead, he would nap multiple times during the day. He would take these breaks, which would let his body recover. You had Napoleon Bonaparte, the great planner, and, and the guy who created the best strategies for war and took his army to its heights. He didn't sleep much at night, too. Also, about two hours of sleep. But he was able to, every two or three hours, knock himself out for a good ten minutes and get rid of the stress hormones. So with these examples, uh, it would probably be a good idea for all of us to 
maybe take a lesson from time, from these times in our lives, from these people that have come before us, and from the science that's in place, and try out a new method. If you're looking for productivity and you're looking to improve your work time, don't think of breaks as something that you're doing for luxury. Think of breaks, these little breaks that you take to detach yourself, as something that you do to increase your productivity. So to recap, if you want to stay productive during your day, work from 90 to 120 minutes. When you feel a little bit tired, detach yourself. Five minutes, eat something really light like nuts and an apple. And for 15 minutes, detach yourself, close your eyes, and just stay there. I'm pretty sure your productivity will increase, and this will probably cause a more happier day for you in the future. <laughs>